For trainer Christophe Clement, racing has always been a family affair. Having apprenticed under legends, he now embarks on a season that will see his own 2000th career victory, as well as a nomination to racing's Hall of Fame. Well, you don't really wake up in the morning thinking, I'm going to win 2000 races. You just wake up in the morning thinking, you know, let's do the best we can and do our job the best we can. But I never actually thought about the number itself. But it's all about being grateful, grateful to uh, number one, the horses, you know, obviously my owners, because I've been very well supported over the years, and my help. You know, I've got very, very good people around me from every level, and, uh, and you know, it's, it's, it's all a teamwork. Family, help, owners, everybody involved, you know. I could also say that there's a huge difference with training today compared to what it was 20 years ago or 30 years ago, is um, I don't think that one individual could be as successful today because of the amount of work between training the horses and being a horseman, between uh, finding the right racers, finding the jockeys, finding the talents at the sale or buying the horses in training, taking care of your payroll and your people, you know, one individual cannot do all that at that level. So if you have to have a team, so you've got to find the right people in order to form that team in order to be successful. So Payson is a great place to train because it's more of a training center than a racetrack, meaning we can give them a break here, we can race, we can just train. You've got more options, plus it's also a great place for two years old. I think it's a great place to train a horse. As you can see, you know, it's 425 acres, very, it, we've got plenty of paddocks, one pen, we've got a turf course, a dirt course, we've got three to four miles of uh, trails, great atmosphere, no concrete, and it's um, just it's a good place for us. Uh, you know, you probably have uh, San Luis Rey and Fahil, but to me, Payson compared to any of the other places, Payson can compare even worldwide to, to most places. It's a great place to train horse. So it's important to give, if you want to compete at the top level, you have to give them a break at some stage, because they, they, it's impossible to compete at the top level for 12 months a year. Tonal is very much alive at the moment, because he's a young scion, he's doing very well, as you know. I think he's one of the leading, if not the leading, second crop sire. So it's pretty exciting. Summer Font is also doing well as a young sire. So now I've been very lucky. I'm very proud that uh, you know I've been training since uh, 1991, and I never had a, a suspension, you know, medication suspension. So I also believe that uh, you can do it without uh, dragging your horses and being very disciplined. And you got a lot, not just me, but you got a lot of other trainers who are very careful about the way they use medication and it's all a question of discipline and you can still win races, I still win without using stuff that you are not allowed. So there's also a good way of doing things which for me still works. Nobody is lazy and succeed in racing, it doesn't work. So you have to work and that's if you have to stay disciplined and stay on it, otherwise you are not going to stay at whatever level. And two, I think, um, yeah, you've got to have an open mind, always have to adapt. Uh, because it changes all the time. Some people adapt better than some others, which is the reason why they last so long, and some don't, which is the reason why they don't seem to last.